And I would like to offer um, a closing meditation around loving kindness. And hopefully we can do this in a way that brings together many of the strands of the practice we've been talking about, and including right speech, including this beautiful way of speech that is not only projected towards another, but also an internal monologue that is helpful and nourishing for oneself. Um, to just try to enrich the conditions in which loving kindness can arise. Yesterday I received a message that I, I couldn't get to, but uh, it was about the question of the self, when the self is unable to generate metta. And this is very uh, relevant to the practice, because actually real metta cannot come from our contracted or um, constructed sense of self. Metta happens by, in a sense, relaxing uh, the sense of self and just trusting in what Yehel very beautifully referred to as a sort of more beautiful, ennobling authority that is a part of everybody's heart. It's a part of our mental makeup and the conditions are not always there. Another um, question related to this was around the enjoyment of bliss in meditation and whether we can get attached or start clinging to that. And metta meditation again is a very powerful way of generating the kind of joy that you can really trust as coming from beautiful motivations of the heart that have others and our own well-being um, as the foundation. So the kind of happiness that arises through this practice, when it's not forced in any way, but it's just cultivated in a gentle and allowing way um, that gives a lot of nutriment to the causes that we're putting in place, is a very trustworthy kind of happiness that's quite the opposite of trying to acquire or attain. It's the opposite of clinging. It's actually the bliss born of letting go. So there's really nothing to fear. And of course, in the beginning, when we practice uh, bringing up wholesome states or we practice letting go into states of samadhi where things become still, we can sometimes see those latent uh, tendencies to cling coming up in the mind. And that's okay because they're there and you're starting to reveal them and also learn how they do um, weaken the natural joy that's there if we cling uh, we can usually recognize that clinging in a sense of contraction that comes from wanting to possess, wanting to control, wanting to own. And this is the tendency we've been carrying throughout our life. So it's okay to see this and just relax it and allow the process to unfold in its own way. And it's a practice, so it doesn't happen at once. So this is just um, a little preamble to the practice we'll do now to just really gently encourage you to allow this to unfold in its own way so that when we talk about spreading metta, spreading loving kindness or extending that benevolence more widely than ourselves to however far it wishes to flow, just please don't use too much force. I would really recommend just a gentle, uh, very spacious sense of passive observing and if the metta is not ready to flow, just remaining content within ourselves. You know, we can always make peace, be kind and be gentle with our own hearts, with our own emotions. So sometimes you might not be feeling the emotion of loving kindness, but we can, um, we can uh, let's say, learn to relate and regard that through the lens of loving kindness. And it's amazing that when our perception takes on those colors, it actually does start to shift the actual experience that we have. It's as though the mind and the intention that the awareness is infused with becomes stronger than the object, which may be the object of distress or um, agitation or anything else in the mind. But it must be wholehearted and pure not a wish to get rid of anything, but just to hold it and give it space. So if uh, whatever comes up in this practice for you, please just allow it to be there and just see if you can abide with contentment and goodwill. So, for the practice of loving kindness, as for most meditation, but I think especially 
for the loving kindness at the end of the retreat, we want to really establish a comfortable posture, first of all. And that might mean having a stretch, adjusting yourself, checking whether you're warm enough, maybe taking the support of a chair or a wall. I'm perfectly happy if anyone wants to come up to sit against the wall at the front. Checking your clothing. For monastics, we wear these belts. So it's always nice to loosen it a little bit. And just coming in to a sense of attunement, of deep inner listening through connecting with the feelings in your body right now. To allow your body to speak, so to speak, and let you know the best posture, the best position for your limbs, your ankles, your knees. To check whether there's a sense of balance and even enough distribution of weight between your buttocks. Allowing the muscles in the buttocks to just gently expand and trust the support of the ground or the chair. Yielding to that support whilst also inviting a sense of uplift through the spine. Perhaps helping you sense into a feeling of alertness. Readiness, curiosity. Keeping your shoulders soft relaxed, perhaps gently rolling them back and allowing yourself to find the optimal position for your hands, keeping your fingers soft, sensing the fingertips, keeping your belly soft, letting it just hang loose. Giving the organs space to relax, to breathe. And relaxing the muscles around your throat. Sensing the strength in your neck that allows the head just to be suspended. the jaw to gently drop, the eye muscles to relax, and the top of your head to sense the space around you and above. And gently Connecting to any sense of relaxation or ease in the body. Any areas that feel quite okay right now, quite easy to be with, maybe even pleasant. 
that invite the mind to more deeply relax. And to help establish a natural sense of loving kindness, of ease, of safety, I'd like to invite you to ask how it would feel, how it would feel in your body and mind. if you were being regarded with benevolent, kindly eyes. Perhaps the kind, wise gaze of a Buddha. The compassionate eyes of Kuan Yin or any other person, historical, real, or imaginal. That represents benevolence for you. Or perhaps this is a place, a special place that you love to be. Maybe the comfort of your own home or a place in nature where it's as if even the trees, the sky looks upon you with love, part of nature, not different, completely accepted, unjudged. How would this feel? Can you sense? Any change in your energetic field? Knowing you're held in love unconditionally with nothing you need to do prove or to be. Just opening gently to any feelings of ease. Softness, lightness, peace. However subtle, just staying inwardly content. And now gently inviting these feelings of goodwill, benevolence to start spreading. From your body, your heart into this room including all beings sitting here, all our friends in the Dhamma that we've been practicing with, developing feelings of trust towards perhaps 
This loving kindness spreads as an energy experienced as subtle vibrations, sensations. Maybe softness or a sense of ease. Perhaps as a shimmering light, gently filtering out. Bestowing well wishes on everyone here. Maybe this energy or light has a particular color to it that represents loving-kindness to you. And this color starts spreading into the atmosphere effortlessly, just as a drop of ink in a glass of water spreads. Without any effort or very little effort at all, Colouring the whole atmosphere with thoughts, feelings, intentions of loving kindness. Wishing everyone here well. Perhaps imagining people's faces just glowing with this soft, gentle light of love as their hearts and bodies relax. And this field of loving kindness starts spreading beyond this room to all beings in Gaia House and the surrounds, not only human beings, but animals, insects and birds, the little worms in the soil. widening the field to allow loving kindness or the thoughts or intentions of loving kindness if that supports your practice just allowing them to spread in all directions throughout the whole of the UK and perhaps beyond to all beings everywhere, wherever there's life, wherever there's breath. Spreading this aura of peacefulness throughout the world. Perhaps to places that really need some harmony and peace. To beings who are happy and well, living safely and at ease. And to those who are living in fear. Hungry or sick. This loving-kindness spreads like the light of the sun, impartial, 
shining the same warmth on all beings, including those beings who are overcome by ill will, lost in delusion, perpetrating harm. May those beings too remember and sense in to their own potential to love, their own goodness that they've strayed far away from right now. May all beings, whoever they are, whether they are hurting within themselves or harming others, whether they're going about their lives with awareness, with good intentions or a little bit lost, whoever they are, wherever they are, may all beings receive this beautiful loving kindness and may their hearts be at peace. all human beings and all non-human beings. All the beings in the lakes, the oceans, the sky, large and small, cute or ugly, all beings who cherish their own life, may they all find peace, find safety, be well, happy and at ease. So just abiding in loving kindness. Trusting in the power of these intentions to spread as far as they will, as far as conditions allow. Remaining contented and at ease. And now very gently leaving the warmth of loving kindness throughout this planet, perhaps throughout the whole universe, letting the warmth remain, but gently bringing your awareness back into this room to all our fellow retreatants. So sincerely practicing and back into your own body to notice how you're feeling right now allowing yourself to receive some of this kindness and warmth Recognizing that you are one among all beings who also desires your happiness, safety and ease. Who 
who is generally well-intentioned but sometimes messes up like all beings we too make mistakes so offering yourself this sense of unconditional acceptance, forgiveness patience and love as if your heart is expanding to include every aspect of who you think you are now just very tenderly and gently noticing if there's any part of yourself perhaps a younger part or a part you're less proud of maybe a part that still feels some shame or the pain of rejection that you've left outside imagine these little parts of yourself like little beings requiring some love looking up at you at the older, wiser, more benevolent part of yourself and reaching out their hand and it's as if from your heart there's a staircase folding down inviting these little parts of yourself to walk up and come inside to this place where they'll finally find some acceptance some love just gently reaching down this hand of loving kindness, of forgiveness to whatever parts now wish to come inside very tenderly and gently including them all staying spacious Staying soft to whatever feelings arise. May I be truly happy and at ease. May I learn to fully accept and forgive myself. Be patient with my own healing journey. And may I offer myself confidence and trust. continuing to nurture the beautiful qualities I recognize inside if you need to, taking the support once again from this benevolent being imagining that you're being gazed upon with kindness and benevolence So 
I'm now going to offer you a blessing to end this meditation. So see if you can just stay connected to any feelings that are easy to stay with. And allow yourself to receive. Sape sata Sape pana Sape buta Sape purgala Sape ata bawa pariapana Sape itio Sape purisa Sape aria Sape anaria Sabe Dewa Sabe Manusa Sabe Winipadika I wave our horn to Ani gahon tu Sukiatanam parihavantu Dukamunjantu Yadalada sampadito Maui gajantu so sends the formal part of the retreat and in your own time staying with any feelings that feel resourcing gently when you're ready you can open your eyes to end the meditation continuing to Give yourself love and kindness no matter how you feel right now, just giving it space. Taking your time.